guys, we're back with another video for you, and today we're going to be doing a story time, so let's get into the video. So, hey guys, as you can see, we're in a different scenario today, and the story time I'm going to be telling you is my paranormal experiences in this apartment. I don't know if I should be doing this right now, but I guess. If shit happens, I'll update you. The light right there is on, and over there is on, so I think it's a ghost. As you can see in the video from the beginning. Okay, so let's start from when I first moved here. It was like seven, eight years ago. Something like that. And it was just me and my mom. Um, we finally got the place, and we came here, we was just bringing stuff, and then there was a chair in the front of the house, not in front of the house, in the front, front room, I should say, and, um, I don't know why, all of a sudden, I just decided to sit on the chair, right, so, let's sit on the chair, because there's a chair right here, right, so, I'm just sitting on the chair, and I'm just, I start going like this, right? Don't ask me why I started to do that, but I was just doing that. I was just like sitting for where, and I was just looking out the window like, I don't know why. And all of a sudden, oh, my arm started to like, his arm started to like, and at first I was just like, oh, whatever. Maybe something. I, I don't even know what, what I was thinking at the time. And then, I finally, because the burning sensation was not stop. So I looked at my arm, and I was like, oh, snap. I had three marks from the farm. At the time, I didn't have a YouTube channel, so I didn't even think to take pictures of it or anything. So, trust me, I would not make this stuff up. So... If you are gonna say that it's fake, then whatever. You don't believe it. You just made a story. It's not cause I, I wouldn't lie about that. So let's go on. Then and then I ran to my mom and I was like, Oh my God, mom, look what happened. Oh, it was this one. Oh, look what happened. She was like, Oh, you must have been scratching yourself. But I was like. No, I wasn't. I was like, it's bowling. I was like, stop scratch me. And I was just so scared. And oh shit. I, I think I might not be scaring myself. Oh my god. Right there. I'm scaring myself. Anywho. Oh my god. Okay. I'm not gonna cut out anything. I'm just gonna leave it in. But I don't want you to think that like I was I don't know. And then another incident that happened, um, maybe like a year later or something. Um I was in that bathroom right there with the light on. That light. Um and, I, and the next day I had school, but I, w I was like, I don't want to go to school, so I was just like, on my phone, whatever, right? And then, um, all of a sudden, oh, there's two things that happen in there. The light goes out, like, the light turns off, like, physically turned off. And I was like, oh no, oh, okay, you know. It's time to get up. Let's wipe my soul, man. Let's go into the room. Because this is not going to happen. So, that was that one little incident. And then, um, in the next incident, I was in the bathroom again. And, for some reason, I heard. I don't even know how to make the noise. But, I heard something coming. From exact, you don't know where I am, but it was coming from this area right here. Right? And it sounded... I was sounded weird at first. Then I like took my headphones out and then I started to pay attention. And 
it sounded like somebody was being dragged. Do you hear me? Somebody was being dragged in my living room. So I was so scared, mind you. I was terrified. I closed my door when I heard, I, I closed the door. Like if someone was being dragged, let them be dragged and let me not be a part of whoever, whatever happened. Like, go on. I ain't hear nothing, I don't see nothing, just go, <laughs> right? And then, um, it started getting closer and closer to the door, yo, my heart was like, oh my god, oh my god, and then it stopped by my door, so I opened it, and nothing was there, and I was like, yep, it's time for me to go to sleep, that's not happening, right? And then, and then I just went into the room right there. And I fell asleep. <sighs> that was all that. That was. Um. What's another incident? I'm just giving you a bunch of little paranormal stories. Um. All at once. Because they don't need their own video. Because I don't see why. When I could just do it all together. Um. So the next incident. It was. I don't know when it was, but I had, it was, um, what was it, um, New Year's, something like that, right? And the ball dropped, and every, uh, my sisters were here, my friends were here, whatever, and we were all going to sleep, and all of a sudden, I feel on my bed, right? This is not my bed, by the way. This is my old bed, but that's beside the point. And I started to feel my bed shake. And I'm just like, huh. I'm just, you know, maybe I'm just drifting off, right? And then, um, my sister, my, my little sister and my mom was like, oh my god, do you feel that? And I'm like, what? Somebody's like shaking the bed. Okay. Plot twist, it's not plot twist. Um, I remember this. Not really sure if it was a dream or not, but I don't think it was a dream because I remember it barely. Um, and then my bed just started shaking like crazy. And it's weird. Like mind you, I'm a I'm not a small person at all and my bed was shaking. Like I wasn't moving or nothing. I was, when my bed started shaking, I was like, like, who the fuck is doing that? And then, all of a sudden, I felt something touch my foot. It was a wrap. I was out my bed real quick. When I, I turned my light on. Like, who the F is doing this? But that's all I remember from that night. No, like, I don't remember what happened. I think I just got up and Everything went back to normal. Mm. Um, what's another story that happened here? Oh, another story. Oh, I remember. Um, I was right over here watching TV. The TV. Um, and my mom was putting the laundry away. Uh, she went into the room over there. <laughs> there we go. Um, and I know she was putting the laundry away or whatever. And all of a sudden, I hear my mom call me, right? So, I get up and I, I don't know why, but I just started running because it sounded like it was an emergency. So, I started to run to where she was, right? Um, and, um, mind you, I had... Um, at the time I had a dog, unfortunately he passed away, um, and in my room, we had like, um, newspapers on the floor just in case he had to go to the bathroom, he knew where to go there and not on like the rug, um, and he must have just peed, mind you, th there's a reason why I'm telling you this, so when I ran, right, I slipped in it and I fell back, right? 
and my mom just started dying laughing, and she was like, why are you running? I'm like, you was just calling. And she was like, uh, no, I wasn't. I'm like, stop playing. You were just calling me. Um, and we argued back and forth. She's like, I didn't call you. Why would I call you? For what reason? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe you need to help or something. And she's like, Samantha, I was not calling you. I'm like, okay. So I'm just like, oh, that's so great. Um, what's another incident? Um, I don't know if it, it, it's, I don't know if it's an incident, but, um, more of the beginning of when I lived here, I, I just remember them. Um, I used to be in the first room, the first bedroom, the first bedroom was big, so it was like two people sleeping in there at the time. Um, and at like a certain time of night, I would just like get up because I couldn't sleep. And I was just to go like this, look at the door, and I would see some a shadow walk, right? So I'm like, um, so I look next to me, okay, my sister's there, my mom's in her bed. Who is walking? Like, mind blown. <gasps> and I just, I went. And then I opened my door and I'm like, hold up. No, if this ain't no truth, I'm on note today. And I opened the door and no one was there. And so I'm like, okay, that's crazy. Let's close the door. Let's go back to sleep. I'm tired. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. And then, um, um as soon as I shut the door and I lay back in bed, and then I looked at the door one more time. And... The freaking guy, I knew it was a guy because he was tall, muscular, and he had like a cowboy's hat, right? He, he just was like peeking in my room. I was done. I turned my phone on and I was just like, let's not look at the door no more because I just couldn't deal with it. I was, I was so petrified. Oh another incident um I was sitting over here with me and my mom right? and we were just talking and I don't know I don't know what we were talking about and out of nowhere wait I'm gonna see if I can make this sound with my feet right oh, all we heard was right really loud and we're just like this is my cat is running yo we heard Yo, oh, we heard that. I was, I was just like, what the hell, right? And then that that shit started to get louder. It was just like, right? And you're probably like, okay. So what it sounded like, right there, it sounded like it ran up the hall into my kitchen. And me and my mom was like, mm -hmm. we looking at each other like, you heard that, right? And then I was like, what? Right? And then I'm just like, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> and like, we, we don't know what did that or anything. Um, that that one was pretty. Scary. I wish I would have caught that on camera. That would have been like ten times scarier. Um, but um, I don't have any more incidents. I've been living here for like seven years, so I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Oh, um, that's pretty much it for all the incidents with me. But if you want a part two of this story I will get people that lived here or live here to um tell their story tell the tell the tell you what 
day experience. So, if you want that, comment down below, like it up, turn your notification on, turn the bell on, so you can get every video that I post. Until next time, goodbye.